Hello, gorgeous people. Was that a good British accent? Hello, people. Hello, governor. Not sure. Not sure. Maybe I need to work on my British accent, but it's all right. We're in America, so I think I have my American accent down pretty good. All right. This is Surviving COVID-19 Food Truck Edition Growth During Crisis. I am Levi China Griffin, and hey, we're going to jump in this because... Listen, if you're a food truck, you shouldn't be surviving right now. You should be thriving. What is one thing that every human being needs to do to survive, to live, to grow, to be healthy? You got to eat. All right. These are some numbers. Um, and I have them in every video uh, because I don't know. Some people may discover the seventh tip first versus the first tip. So I'm, I'm just going over the numbers here, people. On the left chart, you see where it's leisure and hospitality. Um, they're the hardest hit. Think of gyms, think of parks, recreation, think of movie theaters. They're totally shut down. They're not considered essential. Your your happiness is not considered essential, um, not in the face of a pandemic. Um, you know, then you have wholesale and re retail trade, education and health system. And this is from Statista. So make sure you, you check out my info. Make sure I'm giving you good data. I am. But for you skeptics out there, and there's always some skeptics. Skeptics, go and check it out. Government workers, manufacturing professional, all between one to two million. Uh, same thing with construction, other services, uh, 1.42, um, and that's 23%, even though I'm estimating only one, two, or three percent of that is actual food trucks. All right. Next is uh, how uh, Corona's hit the um, America. Um, now, all of this data that I pulled, I've pulled today and it's pretty recent with the exclusion of the bottom left um e-marketer us social network ad, ad revenue that was a prediction from 2019 that's showing that it continued to go up um however the chart to the right COVID 19 detail of increased social media use this is actually just has COVID in the name it's just showing that even though this prediction was the 2019 that it's actually exceeded those predictions because of corona all right, man, let's just jump into this thing. This is the chart review. Um, go back to video number one for the full chart review. All right. All right. So 10 tips to survive and thrive during and after COVID-19. We don't want to just survive people. We want to thrive. We don't want to have a survive mentality. We don't want to have a mentality that, hey, I just want to get by. I just want to survive this thing. Let me just clench my butt cheeks and hold on tight and hopefully I can just make it through. That is the wrong mentality to have as I bang on my desk. You want to thrive. You don't want to just survive. You want to thrive. You want to thrive. Who wants to just survive? Did you open up your, your business just to survive? Hopefully not. Hopefully you want to thrive. Hopefully you want to make money. Hopefully you want to progress. That's the whole thing about this, right? So we want to survive. Uh, we want to survive and thrive, not just survive. So tip six today is delivery. You should have been doing this months ago. Hopefully this is, hopefully you're just listening to this going, tell them, tell them Levi Johnny Griffin. They, they should have been doing this forever ago. If you're in the, in the food truck business, if you're in the restaurant business, period, and you don't have delivery, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, so what are you doing? So this, this chart comes from Second Measure, and I, I read their article on it. Um, you can just Google this and find it. Um, and this is March 2020, once again, like I said, all of this stuff I'm pulling is relevant. These numbers have just come out. Um, I pulled all of these charts today. And uh, so this is relevant as of today, 5, 11, 2020. So this is, if you're going through this and it's 2020, then this is super relevant right now. And if it's not 2020, then why are you worried about COVID-19 stuff anyway, unless it's still going on, which hopefully it isn't. Um, but so on the left here, I don't know if this is, these are millions of dollars or millions of sales. It did not um, explicit. So that to uh, explain um, uh, in the, uh, in that article. So I don't know if this is 200 million sales, uh, individual sales or $200 million. And they um, said that they had some issues kind of separating some stuff as well with Uber. But none, nonetheless, whether it's 200 million sales or $200 million, um, Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, Grubhub, all of these places del are delivery. If you're not familiar with delivery, that's not someone calling you and ordering from you and then you hopping in your pickup truck and delivering. That's you partnering with one of these services you see on the right, Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, Grubhub, or some similar uh, drive service. 
Um, they order through their app, through the Uber Eats or the Postmates or DoorDash. I've used DoorDash. I've ordered directly through the DoorDash app. Um, you click go to DoorDash, and they show you restaurants. Think of Yelp. Right. So the apps are like Yelp. You can pick the restaurant. You can see the menu. You can order and pay directly through the app. Uh, and then the person uh, comes back and um, gets to deliver it. So they pick it up. Excuse me. I had some distractions. They pick it. They order through the app. They pick it up from you and drop it off. You have a little ticker inside of your food truck or trailer. When DoorDash gets the order, it prints on the ticket in your uh, food truck and then you just make it they come and they pick it up um, and then I believe you're automatically digitally paid for it auto you know once the sale goes through it's it's deposited and you, you get it just like a credit card transaction it's super simple super easy you get a ticket if you ever worked in a major restaurant you get a ticket you look at the ticket you make the order that's all it is um, you set the hours that you're open that way you're not getting tickets at midnight um, if you're not open you want to close for the day you just say you put closed on the app and that's it and there's people that are making thousands. The guy in the early video I told you about that are making like five, six grand a day doing Italian food. Holy smokes, those brothers and their dad, it's crazy, right? And they're doing a lot of it through delivery. Think about Uber Eats, 200 million in 2020, 200 million either orders or sales via Uber Eats. Come on, man. Wouldn't you want at least a million of that 200 million or half a million of 200 million or 100,000 of that 200 million? Come on. Whether it's 100,000 sales or $100,000, come on. Either way, it's, it's good, right? Um, Uber Eats has a huge share. Postmates, not so much. DoorDash has a huge share. Grubhub um, is gaining in share. Um, DoorDash and Grubhub being the two largest. But if you're not on delivery, people, what are you doing? Got to realize, people are lazy. If they can eat and get food delivered to them at the house, they're going to do it, even before Corona. But now, even more so, they don't want to go out and get infected. They want the food brought to them. Bring me my tacos to the door, man. Come on. If you're not doing delivery, you're, you're behind the curve. Like, comment, subscribe. Not so I can have millions of views and subscribers, but so you can make a million dollars with this information I'm giving you for free. Come on, Doc. Come on now. All right. Like, comment, share this with somebody. Um, watch it 15 times. Uh, enjoy it. All right, I'm out of here. God bless.